hiding this thing there is my kick ass. Well, kiss ass. And I'm busting ass. Hey guys, Kim the Movie King, and here once again to finish my Universal Soldier Marathon. And today is Universal Soldier The Return. So John claude Van Damme returns in the next installment, Universal Soldier The Return. Now, before I get into the plot of this movie, there was two movies prior to this one. I believe they were directly to the Sci-Fi Channel. I never watched them. I don't plan to watch them. So it's not going to be part of my marathon. Anyway, the synopsis of this movie is Jean-Claude Van Damme returns as Luke, the surviving Universal Soldier from the first movie. And he is uh, basically the remaining um, Unisol from the old program and he's working with the scientists with these new and improved Universal Soldiers. And um, they basically want these uni these uni these new universal soldiers to be controlled by a uh, a robot that's named Seth, um, who's voiced by and played by Michael J. White. You guys don't know who Michael J. White is. He's a he's a pretty badass martial artist. Um, he was I believe he was in the the second Undisputed. Yeah, I believe it was in the second Undisputed. Because I think the first Undisputed was... I haven't seen that in a long time. I want to say it was Wesley Snipes. But if I'm wrong, let me know down below. I haven't seen that in a long time. But I know he was... I'm pretty sure he was in the second one. But yeah, Michael J. White was in um, Undisputed. He's also in a really great movie called Never... Um, what, Never Black Down. Not that one. Um, I believe he's in the second one, but no, not that one. He's in uh, Blood and Bones, as well as um, Black Dynamite. You guys probably, if you guys haven't seen those movies, and you have not really into those kind of martial art movies that go straight to, you know, DVD or Blu-ray, um, he played Spawn, and he also, he had a cameo in The Dark Knight. He was the African American guy that Joker killed with uh, the pencil, I believe. Yay! Did he kill him with the pencil? No, he didn't kill him with the pencil. But he did. Joker did kill him in the movie. He didn't have no martial arts in that movie. But I haven't seen that movie in a long time as well. My memory's not working that well. But anyways, he 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 has a, he he has a small role as one of the the goons in um, the Dark Knight. Um, but anyways, Michael J. White. He, he's a talented martial artist. Um, I really like him. I think he's an underrated actor. Anyways. He does the voice of the robot set. Anyways, um, the basically the government doesn't want this program. Basically, wants to shut the program down. Doesn't want them to keep going on with it. So they want to shut it all down. Shut the unit, the new improved unisols uni down, and shut down Seth as well. The problem is Seth understands what's going on, and he decided no, this is a big no no. I am going to control these Unisols. I mean, he basically does control them and send them out to kill anyone that gets in their way, as well as make himself a body. Um, that's, of course, when Michael J. White comes in, but um, that's, that's, that's basically the plot. The best way I can sum it up. Um, hmm. When this movie first came out in theaters, I know I didn't get to see it, but I was really looking forward to it because if you saw my first video of the first Universal Soldier, I was a big, big, big fan of that movie. So I was really looking forward to this one when I saw the trailers of it. Unfortunately, I never got to see it in theaters. Um, I had to see it on VHS. I would rented a Blockbuster when Blockbuster was still around. And... I was pretty disappointed, I gotta be honest. I was, I was pretty, pretty, pretty disappointed of the movie. I don't remember that much from back then, but re-watching it, I gotta tell you, I haven't seen this movie in a long, long, long time. So re-watching it again, I, I have to say, I'm not a fan of this movie. Some of, some of the YouTubers that I, I do follow that I am a fan of do enjoy this movie. And I just can't. I'm not even gonna stand here, you know, and lie. I'm a big fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Everybody knows that. 
that has been following my channel. I love all the action guy, old guys, Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, John Claude Van Damme. I, I, I mean, give me any of their movies, I'll be there. The problem is, this movie is like campy as hell. Um, it, re it reminds me of like a direct to sci fi movie, like maybe the other Unisol movies were, the Universal Soldiers, the, the, the ones that went directly to TV. The, the score is corny. Like, I just can't get to, into it. The, the score just sounds so corny in it. And just some of the characters in it, it just, I don't know. It, it just bothers me a lot when I, when I watch it. I can say this is the last movie you'll see John claude have a lot of energy, smiling all the time. I mean, he does smile a little in, in like, Expendables 2, but not, not in that way. If you've seen the older John claude Van Damme's, he had a lot of charm, and his characters always had charms, always smiling, and even though he would whip your ass, he always had this smile, he had a lot of energy. Uh, after this movie, a lot of his director movies, uh, director um, video movies that he that he releases, which I'm a fan of a lot of them. Inhale, I I, I enjoy it. Inhale, I love that. Uh, Wake of Death, I like that. Until Death, yeah, I'm a big fan of all. Of, a lot of his um, directed DVD mo uh, movies are, are really good. Really good. I, I don't think a lot of people check them out, which is a shame. Um, because some some of the people they look at it like oh John Cleveland damn he's cheesy blah, 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 he can't even act but actually John Cleveland is a good actor um, check out J C uh, J C V D and check out movies like Wake of, Wake of Death until Death I mean he acts really in, even in Hell he acts really good in those movies he 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 acts he's a good act he, I mean he's underrated I mean as an actor I can say I mean I don't think he I, I think drugs messed him up and he never really got that chance to shine. Um, Anyways, back to this movie. Yeah, this is the last movie you really see him smiling all about, you know. Has has the Jean-Claude Van Damme charm that everybody knows from his 80s movies. Like Bloodsport, Kickboxer. You guys remember the Kickboxer dance that Jean-Claude Van Damme did? If you have not, type in on YouTube, Jean-Claude Van Damme dances Kickboxer. Write that on YouTube and check out that bar scene. It's amazing. Anyways, um... Yeah, he, he smiles all the time, okay, so the Unisols that are in here that, are, that, that become like, you know, assess control and become the bad guys and all that, one of the lead guys, the, one of the lead bad guys is um, Goldberg, yes, the wrestler Bill Goldberg, um, when I was younger, I was really into WWF, yes, I know it's called WWE, but back then it was WWF, the Attitude Air. Uh, and WCW was on at the time when there was WCW. I was never into WCW, but the two wrestlers I used to always watch on there, just like when I heard they were wrestling, I would to check it out. Would be Goldberg and Sting. I, I like Sting and Goldberg. So it's funny because in WCW he had this like menacing personality, like almost like a Terminator, like undefeated. Don't don't. Once I get in the ring, you're terminated. And in this movie, he's kind of like a bumbling idiot. I mean, he just does the dumbest shit. There's one scene in this movie, I, I always laugh. Like, I, I don't... I've seen this movie many times. It's been a while since I've seen it. But even this scene just, just made me laugh. And it, it's a scene where he he's chasing after Jean-Claude Van Damme. And Jean-Claude Van Damme jumps off a rooftop on a, on a truck. On the back of like a garbage truck or something like that. I don't really remember. But he jumps in the back of a, a garbage truck. Chocolate Van jumps out, of, jumps off, the, jumps out of the truck, the back of the truck, jumps in in the car, starts it, and then you see Bill Goldberg up there. He, you know, he's getting ready. Looks like he's gonna, you know, he's he's gonna jump jump on the back of the truck as well. So when he jumps, you know, gets ready, runs, jumps. And then John Cleveland then moves the car out of the way. It's like a Looney Tunes thing. And, you know, when he's falling off the roof, you, you actually hear him say, Oh, shit! Boom! And he falls down. I was like, what? <laughs> this, is, this is a comedy? Like, what, what's going on here? I mean, I just can't take this movie serious. That's the problem. I mean, the movie, the first movie compared to this movie, it's like night and day. Uh, I'm not sure who the director is for this movie. I didn't really look into all that. Um... 
I know the first the the first Universal Soldier was directed by Roland Emmerich. Yeah, he's the guy that did like Independence Day and all those disaster movies and stuff, all that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he he is the director of all those movies. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is him. And he did direct the first Universal Soldier. Now that I do know, and um, maybe it was him. I don't know. I don't think he's the greatest director. I mean, there, I do enjoy a lot of his movies. Uh, that he's directed, but maybe it was the, the director that was involved with this. This kind of looks like it has some weird edits, weird cuts. Um, Michael J. White in it is, does play a bad guy in this movie, and you do get a fight scene, a John Claude Van Damme, Michael J. White fight scene. Is that as good as a Dolph Lundgren, John Claude Van Damme fight in the first Universal Soldier? Absolutely not. Is it a bad si fight? No, it's not a bad fight, but. It's mediocre. I mean, you can tell sometimes John Claude has a, a a double on some some of the things compared to the first movie when John Claude's fighting Dolph Lundgren. There's no double. It's him and Dolph Lundgren. They're, they're fighting. This one, there's cer certain because John Claude was never the guy that does backflips and all this kind of shit. He's never been that kind of guy. And this, he's doing these weird kind of fight moves. They're just they're just cheesy. It just it just reminds me of some sci-fi like directed sci-fi movie. And I know this movie got shown theaters because I remember seeing the goddamn trailer and I was so excited to see it. But when I see it right now, I'm like, this is a movie that would be Universal Soldier: The Return, and then the next feature would be Sharknado. Plain and simple. It, it just it just can't be as hell. And I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm not saying it's the worst movie I've ever seen. No. I mean, there is good things about it. As I said, it didn't make me laugh. I can't say I was bored. I was never bored of the movie. It does entertain me. But it entertained me in the wrong way. This is Universal Soldier. And it, it just seems out of place. I can go on. And I, I didn't want this to become a rant. So that's what sucks about it. Because I don't hate the movie. There's just, it's just things that bother me. I mean, okay, so... If you have seen the first movie, he does have a love interest. He becomes like the news reporter from the first movie to the to to Universal Soldier: The Return. He has a child from the the news reporter from the first movie. She's dead now. She's passed away. Um, they do explain in the movie, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not giving the information because I really don't remember. This movie kind of I don't when I watch movies I don't I tend to just stay focused. I actually get hooked in. I don't like people interrupting me and all that. But this movie I, I tended to look at my cell phone at times because it was just like ugh, just so campy, but they have a kid together. Anyways, there's another news reporter in this movie and I'll tell you this this news reporter was annoying. She's she's a terrible actress. I don't know if she's ever been in movies before. I didn't bother to look her up. And I guarantee if she has been in other things, it's probably just TV. There's no way she's in any other movie. She's a horrible actress. Um, so yeah, that that's the other love interest in the movie. It's, it's ironic. It's another news reporter. <laughs> um, the kid in it, she's not a great actress as well, but she, I mean, she didn't bother me as, as, as uh, like the news reporter. Michael J. White was cool. The fight scenes, as I said, it was okay. Not 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 as cool as the the first Universal Soldier. Definitely not. Definitely not. But um, I mean, mm, I would say if you were a John Claude Van Damme fan, check it out. But if you were curious to watch a Universal Soldier, probably just watch the first movie and skip this one. Don't make this as your first movie, as the first one in the series, because you might be disappointed. And if you are a fan of this movie, it doesn't mean that you have bad taste at all. It doesn't mean that at all. Definitely not. Not even a little bit, because, I mean, it could be, I mean, if you're bored and you pop it, you won't be bored. I mean, there's things in it that make me laugh. There's things that are just so odd about the movie. I'm just kind of like, why? Why did they go this direction? I just don't understand. Maybe John Club was on heavy coke at this time or whatever, but whatever. That's all I gotta say about this. I'm giving the Universal Soldier the return a C minus. Not gonna give it a D, I'm not gonna give it an F because I mean it's not a bad movie. It's it's just campy. Uh C minus. Um that's all I gotta say about this. Um the next two reviews will be coming up real uh really soon. It's gonna be um 
Regeneration, The Day of Reckoning, then I can go back to my horror movies. But that's all I'm going to say about today. And if you are a fan of the movie, please let me know down below what do you think. Are you a fan? Why did you like this movie? It's cool. If you don't like this movie, tell me why you don't like this movie. I'm, I'm curious to hear your opinion of what you think about the second movie in the Universal Soldier series. Anyways, this is Key on the Movie King. When the Chucky icon pops up, click it if you're new to the channel and subscribe. When that Chucky icon pops up, it's going to pop up, it's going to pop up. Click it, click it, click it, click it. I'm out.